guys, it's Key here from Kegland and just wanted to talk to you really briefly about these new spunding valves that have just come out. Now a lot of you guys are probably used to these types of spunding valves which don't really do as good a job, but these new diaphragm type spunning valves are bloody awesome. And uh, with all the different types of pressurized fermentation options that are out there these days, spunning valves have become an important part of a fermentation or keg system. A lot of people also use these types of things for pressurized keg transfers or bottle filling and stuff like that. There's lots of different applications where you need to control the pressure, which is inside a vessel coming out of a vessel essentially. So a little bit different to a regulator, which, which normally regulates the pressure going into a vessel. Spunning valves regulate pressure coming out of that vessel. Anyway, let's get into it. Now when you first grab the blow tie out of the box, it just comes as a single unit like this, but there's lots of ways you can set it up. Now I'm gonna show you the most basic way to set it up, so this is without even using a pressure gauge, okay? So uh, the first thing you wanna do is look at the way the arrow's facing. So as you can see, it's got a little arrow on the body of the unit, so it only works in going, in going that direction. So gas comes in this way and comes out that way, so it's really important you sort of look at that first. The next thing you wanna check when you're first setting it up is dial this all the way in. So see this little uh, yellow adjustment knob here? start by turning it all the way in so it bottoms out like that. So that's a completely off position. So pretty much no gas is gonna go flow through the uh, blow tie unit when that's all the way off. Okay, now, um, because I'm not using a gauge, I have to start with a known pressure to be able to set this unit up here. So what I've got here is a keg, and this keg's charged at approximately five PSI. So because I know it's at five PSI, and I've basically hooked that up to my regulator to tell me it's five PSI, and that's got a gauge on it, I can now use that known pressure to actually set the blow tie unit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my ball lock disconnect here. It's a gray one with a also a duo type uh, pushing fitting on the end here. So I just push my line in that. Uh, the blow tie uses the eight millimeter or five sixteenths pushing fittings, which is kind of nice, makes all these joints really easy to put together. Once again, just yeah, taking note of that direction of the arrow in the output side going like this and pushing uh, the beer line or gas line in that side. Then I hook this up onto the keg like so. Now what I can do is get this other end and then just dip it in a cup of water here and gradually undo this unit here like that. So I'm gonna gradually undo this. Now turn this anti-clockwise until you start seeing bubbles. So you keep turning like that and then there we go. I can see bubbles starting to flow. So now I know this is set exactly to five PSI pretty much. That's about as accurate as I can get. Knowing that this keg is five PSI and that's how I'm gonna be able to set this up without using a pressure gauge. Now, the other way to set up a blow tie spunding valve is to actually set it up with a pressure gauge. Now, we just came out with these new pressure gauges. Now, the range on these new pressure gauges goes from zero up to 40 PSI. That's approximately 250 kilopascals or 2.5 bar. The reason why I've chosen that range is it's because it's perfect to handle a lot of uh, pressurized fermentations, but also pressurized transfers. So that, 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 that zero to 40 PSI range seems to meet a lot of those requirements. The other thing about these new gauges is we've also made these eight millimeter push-in or five sixteenths. So they work with a lot of these duo tight fittings and they're compatible with all these fittings that we see here. So if you want to set up your blow tie with one of these, simply get a push-in T-piece like that, push it in like so, get another bit of tubing like that and connect this to your ball lock disconnect. Now the other side, we put another piece of tube on here and once again, making sure to look at the arrows on the blow tie unit, we push that in there like that, and away we go. So now we can actually monitor the pressure that we're setting right on the blow tie unit like this. All right, now that pretty much concludes the video for blow ties today. Now, if you happen to be searching for blow ties on the internet, definitely search blow tie and kegland together, because if you search just blow tie on its own, you might come up with some over 18 kind of stuff that uh, you know you really don't want to be, you know, showing your kids uh, in the living room. So yeah, just a word of warning, when we came up with the name blow tie, we thought it'd be a good blow off valve name, but obviously somebody else got to that name first. Anyway, if you wanna hear about any of the new stuff coming up or any of the stuff that we're working on, definitely sign up to our YouTube channel, just in the bottom right hand corner there, or join our, join our Facebook page. Thanks for that guys, see you next time.